All right guys, today I'm gonna to show you how I brush Crusoe's teeth. This is a really important thing, and if you're gonna brush your dog's teeth, you pretty much have to do it every day. If it's not every day, there's really not much point to it. We didn't always brush his teeth, so growing up in his first few years, he ended up having to get a few teeth removed, which you can see right here on the bottom, for instance. So to avoid, you know, ever having to get his teeth removed again, especially in these smaller breeds where they could have more problems with their teeth because their teeth are so small and close together, uh, brushing every day can really help, uh, you know, avoid those dental complications and also maybe reduce the number of uh, visits you have to do to the vet for dental cleaning. That being said, I don't think tooth brushing totally negates the need to go to the vet to have their teeth cleaned once in a while. Uh, Crusoe is doing every year or two. So that's still really good because even brushing, you're not gonna get under the gums or between the teeth that much. What I'm using is just a baby toothbrush. And this is just the, the toothpaste we get from the vet. It's just the enzymatic toothpaste by Verbac. Um, that one seems to work well. There's not a, a whole lot of options in terms of toothpaste really. We've tried some natural ones. We didn't really find they worked that well. And if you have a bigger dog, obviously this situation would be a little bit different, but for a small breed, this is the setup I like to use. So I sit on a couch or the bed, I put my knees up and I put the dog between my legs here. And this kind of keeps him in my range. And then as I'm brushing his teeth, you know, he will move around and stuff a little bit. So what I do is I kind of, I don't squeeze, but I kind of hold him a little bit. And then having my legs here, he can only have so much movement around where I can still get to his teeth. He can't fully turn his head around and stuff. So we're gonna put toothpaste deep into the bristles so it stays in there a bit. Okay. Okay, so what I do is I come in from the top, pull his cheeks up, use that to get my finger in, and then I can slide the brush to the back. There we go, good boy, good boy. Boy, there we go. So you can see by doing this, I got a finger in, and I got fingers on top, and that stops him from just kicking backwards too. Again, I'm not forcefully holding him, but just slightly holding him. And I'm doing the Brussels back and forth, up and down, circles. I'm gonna touch every side of every tooth. So the back ones, I'm doing the outside of the back ones first. I'm gonna do the front ones, then the other side, top and bottom. And then the, the trickier part is you go in and you do the inside of the teeth as well. And the front, front and top ones too. So we're still working on the back here. There we go, I'm doing some circles, back and forth. more toothpaste. Oh boy. Uh, uh, uh. Sometimes you get some nose attitude. I'm gonna do the inside of the back ones now. That one's a little trickier. One of the best things you can do though is have something on the top of his nose, like my fingers here, and that helps really helps keep his head in position. So up and down, side to side, doing some circles. There you go, nice and frothy. Okay, now we're gonna do his canines. So for this one, I could just lift up the cheeks there, like that, good. Some circles, up and down, good boy. Good boy. Hey, not done yet. Not done yet. The other thing I like to do in terms of movement is we put the bristles near the gum line and just sort of vibrate them, spin them a little bit. It's kind of like flossing. It can kind of get between the teeth a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to do his front teeth on the lower. So for this one, same idea. Come in from the top, open, 
And I'm going to use my finger as like a crossbar here. And then I can pull down his lower lip like this. And then I got it like that. Boy. So you see, I got a finger on top, finger in the middle, thumb below. Three spots to keep him where I want. And I'm not being too forceful. Okay, okay. If they get fussy, you just let them go. Give them a sec. Okay, now we're going to try the top front teeth. Also tricky ones. Doesn't seem to like the sensation on the roof of his mouth too much. Oh boy. It's important to get the inside sides of the teeth. The outside sides are really easy, so that's what everyone just tends to do. And then the insides of, of their teeth get kind of neglected, so you want to try to get those. All right. You good? Good job? Good job? Yeah. So that's about it, guys. We do that every night. It's our very fun routine. Keep those teeth nice and clean. As you guys know, probably, dental health is very related to overall health of the dog. Even, there's even studies that show it's related to heart health. So healthy teeth is a, a great aspect for your dog and living a long, healthy life. Okay. Good job.